Ryan and Ollie here. We're on a primal pursuit mission, going spear fishing. We're off the beaten track. If you're on a gravel road, you know you're going in the right direction. You've got to get as far away from people as possible and off that beaten track. We're going to head out to a group of islands here, explore new terrain as usual, and uh, plan to have a cook up lunch or try to find a crayfish or two, spear a fish. Um, so stick around, should be some awesome scenery and underwater diving. Right guys, made it to the beach. Big group of islands out here to explore. We're gonna shoot out there. Got the IB on the jimmy. From my pursuit mission, let's hit it. here to this little island and um, it looks good it's really nice and sheltered that wind's dropping off and yeah nice nice and calm in here in this little bay might not show you too much um, anyways I'm gonna jump in water's looking clear and uh, hopefully we can find that uh, nice nice big lobster for lunch or, or spare fish diving into the cool winter water I was greeted with good visibility good enough anyways dive straight down exploring this new stretch of coastline new terrain unsure what I'm gonna find hidden beneath the kelp stalks cracks and crevices there's nice big bommies gutters all covered in healthy kelp beds it's a good habitat there's not much current pushing which isn't usually a good sign but but there's still a chance to find a nice lobster hidden beneath these boulders and cracks I'm diving up and down, up and down, searching, embracing this beautiful fishery that we have, just enjoying the moment, back in the water, back in the ocean, at peace, my happy place. There's some nice big beautiful overhangs here, big dark cracks, so I'm shining my torch right up into the back, looking for some antenna, some orange coloration of a nice lobster, no luck here, keep searching make my way down this nice crack here, big boulder, no crayfish there either, keep searching. I love getting down into these kelp beds, it's very peaceful and it's amazing what life is hidden beneath. Keep looking, we'll get onto something soon. Some beautiful red mochi fish here, cruising along the kelp. I find a nice little stretch of coastline. The reef is alive, you can hear it here in the sound of this video, crackling and popping away. It's a good sign. There's a few fish around, lurking below in the depths. It looks like a good spot to set up early, so I decided to grab a kinna or sea urchin as they're called overseas and throw it off the ledge to try and entice a hungry fish in. I get a good response from the one kinna so smash up a pile of them 
and let that sit for 10-15 minutes. While that's cooking, I notice some beautiful looking sand enemy things in these rocks. Not sure what the name of them are, write a comment below if you know. Beautiful things. The swell's starting to pick up a bit. It's very surgy, I'm getting smashed around on these rocks while I'm waiting. I hold on, get a nice breather and approach the ledge. Just keeping it very, very slow here. Working along to the drop off. There's a few smaller snapper around. All sorts of reef species have come in to have a free feed on the kinna. After a few drops on this burley, plenty of time for it to sit and cook. As we say, I go down for one last dive. There's some beautiful pigfish here. And there's a big pigfish right down the bottom. If I don't see a good snapper, that's going to be lunch or dinner. I decide that's the case. Wait for the opportunity, stretch out my spare gun and take the shot. It's a good holding shot. Fish is secure. It's a beautiful, nice, big pigfish. Going to make some excellent eating. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, still haven't found those craves, but got a beautiful. Beautiful pigfish here. Nice white flesh, good eating in my opinion. See this snout like a pig. Anyways, I'm not going to give up. You're going to move around, find another island. There's plenty of islands to choose from here. We'll keep hunting. We'll get that crayfish, that lobster, and uh, get some lunch. Because I actually didn't bring any lunch today, so I'm um, pretty keen to get a feed in me soon. If not, we'll cook up the fish, but yeah, fingers crossed we'll get some uh, lobster soon. Check this out, I've just found an awesome opening. Look at this. Amazing. How cool is this? Big open lagoon, we just came through here, the small crack, amazing. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find. Look at this clear, beautiful water, amazing. Wow. <laughs> Beauty. Well, I'm just going to keep exploring and um, try and get that lobster for lunch. We'll, we'll find one eventually and uh, actually might come back up in here see if we can find a nice spot there to have a cook up or we might even be able to cook up on the boat. I've bought my little jet boil so um, yeah let's keep looking we'll get something for lunch and um, have a cook up. How peaceful in here it's just incredible.
Wow, I found a nice little rocky upcrop just sitting out here in the middle of nowhere. Can only try, see what's underwater. There is a cray pot here, so that's um, always a good sign for crayfish, lobster. Um, yeah, generally the, the cray pots are uh, just a bit too deep um, for me to dive, so I can't take them naturally. <laughs> No, I, I don't um, take crays out of the other cray pots, but it's a good sign, so we'll jump in and um, see what's going on here. It looks nice and clean. Important to have a nice solid glove when you're targeting lobster. You don't want to rip your hands up. It's something that's going to keep you warm in, in winter. I'm back into this cool water. It's a nice big porcupine or puffer fish here. Always cool to see. Big vast schools of two spot demisal. Usually a good sign. There's some current about. This spot is definitely more fishier than anywhere I've been today. You can see the silhouettes of butterfish here cruising in above the kelp beds favorite eating fish of mine so I take a nice big fat one here hiding beneath the kelp bed. The commotion is intrigued some kingfish. As I was dispatching the butterfish a large school of yellowtail kingfish come cruising in. There's got to be at least 20 of them. I'm frantically reloading my gun, dive straight back down As I get to the bottom and look up, there's a big school of them right in front of me. Unfortunately, these fish are probably all about 70 centimetres, just a bit too small. I'm back down into the kelp, I'm hunting for crays, and then I notice a nice few butterfish cruising past as I emerge from the kelp stalks. A beautiful big fish here, so I extend out take a nice good shot. Another beautiful butterfish for the bag. Right, focus. I've got to find this crayfish for my lunch. I'm set on it. There it is. I noticed a nice bright red orange coloration of a lobster down in the crack. Dive back down after a breathe up. And there we go. I finally found some lobster. Or crayfish as we call them here in New Zealand. With nowhere to go, nowhere to back up into, I slowly reach in and get a hold of the horns of this beautiful crayfish. Stoked! Crayfish for lunch it is. When there's one crayfish, there's usually more. So I get back down, searching under these boulders and kelp beds. There's a few smaller ones about here. Then I notice a nice good lobster sitting in a hole at the bottom here. I cruise down and go for it. Get this one by the horns again. He puts up a bit of a fight, but break him free. And I've got another beautiful lobster to take home. Awesome. Beautiful. Oh, got my fingers. Ah. <coughs> Get up. I'm back down in the kelp and I want to take one more lobster home. There's some beautiful cracks and crevices here full of lobster. Unbelievable. Great scenes to see. A nice healthy reef I'm on. There's one nice lobster right down the bottom. I reach in and 
wrestle them out. Beautiful. Very nice sized lobster. I spend a few more minutes just diving around, filming the crayfish, filming the lobster. There's heaps around. Some beautiful butterfish still cruising about. It's all coming together. Another crayfish lobster spot on my list, all due to some prospecting and trying out new territory. up a bit, it's a bit choppier here, a bit bumpy, so I think we'll tuck back into that cove I found and um, be nice and sheltered in there, I'm starving, um, so yeah, hopefully uh, we can get a little gas cooker going and we'll um, get a feast, beautiful. Amazing here, yeah. beautiful. Secret entrance, there it is. No, oh, I just love finding places like this, it's so cool. And it's beautifully shelved here, so we can perch up and have a nice, nice snack. Look at these big, steep walls. Amazing. Incredible. Still quiet. Hello. <laughs> wow. Very cool. Very cool. How peaceful. Well, this is definitely a uh, spot for lunch. Amazing. Might just be able to cook up here on the on the boat. Sweet, let's, let's do it. Let's have some crayfish, starving. I've bought some butter, because I can't live without that stuff. But other than that, um, yeah, no food, so looking forward to it. Stomach's growling at me. Old wooden oar from the IRB. That's going to be our chopping board today. My knife and our crayfish. Right, that's lights out for the cray. We will get that tail out.
Beautiful. Leave that down there. Put a fish food. Put a bit of a wash. Now, I believe in other countries around the world um, that you do need to remove that poo tube. I believe in New Zealand um, it's not an issue and you don't get sick from it, but however, we will remove that as why not, it's pretty easy, yep, oh just beautiful flesh, now I don't think I've got too much gas in the bottle so we'll just get these in half, those won't take too long to cook up and that's just going to be absolutely a beautiful snack. Right, hopefully there's enough gas in there. That didn't get too wet. Right. Gonna be our cooking platform. Awesome. Let's get our pan on there. A little bit dodgy, should be right. Just dropped the pan off the back, so <sighs> looks like I have to go on and get that, that sunk to the bottom. All right, back in the cold water. Got the pan. Ugh. Let's try that again. All right, I'll be a bit more careful this time. That's a bit more balanced. Right, I've got some butter. We'll just get butter in there everywhere. And this cray. It's just going to sit on top there. Let's make sure this is stable. That's just going to cook away beautiful. Not a bad spot for, for lunch, if I must say. <laughs> Don't have anything else to uh, have with that crayfish. I've actually only got water, but. Um, this is going to be beautiful. That crayfish is just going to be stunning. Uh, literally that thing was swimming in the water about 30-40 minutes ago so it's going to be beautiful, soft. Not too big, some of the big crays can be a bit more tougher. That's just the perfect size, beautiful. Alright guys, the slobs is looking pretty ready. Oh, beautiful. Get out of that nice butter on there. Yeah, I reckon that's it's time to eat. Oh, look at that. Yum. Beautiful. Fresh. Oh, good. Mmm. All good, all good here. Oh, it's peeling out. Oh, lobster. Mmm. Get a bit of that beautiful butter. Oh, yum. Mmm. Well, that was um, 
very tasty rock lobster. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna hit one more rocky outcrop out here while I'm here. I love exploring in winter when it's um, nice and calm and there's not too many people about, so I'll see if I can uh, pick up a few fish. Fish for the bag to bring home and uh, feed me throughout the week. And then we'll cruise in and uh, I have one last surprise for you, so stay around. Well guys, we're at the last spot, last dive spot. There it is. A bunch of rocks in the middle of nowhere. Water's clean enough, so it's got to be something uh, swimming around here, surely. And then we're going to pick up some of my favourite shellfish, so um, stay tuned. I'm in the last dive location for the day. I'm pretty keen to shoot a nice snapper to take home. Peeking over this ledge here, heaps of demisau around. It's fairly fishy. A few baitfish, kohiru, swimming about. I move my head around slowly and catch a glimpse of a reasonable, nice sized snapper just milling around in the distance. I creep back down behind this kelp get a nice hiding spot and the fish comes swooping in here boom take the shot awesome got a snapper finally the shot looks reasonable but a bit high so I'm a bit concerned I let the line peel out of the reel just keep letting that line out snapper will often swim down into the kelp or a gutter when they're injured and slowly die so thought that's the best option. I don't want it to rip off and swim away injured. It's still got plenty of life in it though. But once I notice the spear's gone right through the top half of the fish, it's a good holding shot. I slowly work the snapper up to the surface and it's a beautiful little fish. Gonna be great eating. Stoked. Mm -hmm. Finally get my snapper for the day. That's enough. Plenty of seafood. Unload the gun, back in the boat, and it's time to get some shellfish to round off the day. Well, well, got a nice little snapper there. Whew, stoked. Right, let's head back, get some shellfish, and that's us for a day. Another bag of seafood, another day on the water exploring. Love it. Good down in the water. Got some craze, feed of craze, shot some fish, got some exercise, what I call meditation. Um, geez, what else, you name it. Um, it's always good out diving, so I'm stoked. Feel buggered, but feel refreshed at the same time. So, yeah, it's a great sport. Anyways, it's about low tide, so it's perfect timing. I'm going to have a dig and try and find some tua tua. One of my favourite shellfish, not the, not the best. I'd say raw oyster, scallop and then tua tua. So um, let's go and try and uh, dig some up and find some. So a lot of beaches around New Zealand, you'll, you'll find them at that low tide. Um, just get a bit, a bit of a dig. Often out uh, near like a little stream out there or something. Yep. Bingo. Awesome, tour tours, beautiful. That's just thick wherever you dig, awesome. Yum. Getting a good feed of these now. 
to steam these open or just whack them on the barbecue hot plate just beautiful as they are sea, sea salt flavour otherwise um, you can get a bit flash, a bit of butter, garlic or a bit of white wine but uh, just straight on the barbecue beautiful right we'll just get a few more and then um, time to head off Bag of shellfish. And that's it for this adventure guys. Hope you got something out of that or just enjoyed kicking back and um, watching me get out there and about if, if you just stuck at home and can't do it yourself. So yeah, thanks for coming along on the ride. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out my merch, primalpursuit.co.nz And um, yeah, leave a comment, hit thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you out on the next adventure. Cheers guys. Yeah.